recording is okay firstly uh thank you sia for taking your time to to speak to me i know you don't do many interviews i'm i'm, I'm honestly grateful that you you've taken your time out of your day to to do this interview um yeah i know it's it's tough but uh firstly let, let's just go into into the nitty-gritty i mean you moved to romania right um it caught everybody by surprise. The fans were even saying, yeah, the journalists are useless. We don't know nothing. Because here in Gezana moves to Romania and we knew nothing about it. Um, but in that period of last season, you were heavily criticized by Chiefs fans. They're saying you're not good enough. And then all of a sudden, you come back, man of the match performances, and then boom, you go to Europe. Um, so how did that happen? And were you even surprised by this offer? Um, actually, uh, to be quite honest, <clears throat> firstly, I just want to thank for for this opportunity to speak to you. Um, yeah, to getting um to getting into the topic about my move and everything, uh, I was not surprised, but uh, the move from Romania it came as a surprise. Uh, um, actually, what I am saying, I was not surprised. Uh, there were some other teams in Europe that they were monitoring me. Hmm. Uh, I would say maybe uh, it was Sheriff, you know, yes. Was Sheriff? Yes, I, I so, heard of that. Yes, yes so they, they, they consulted Chiefs in terms of my service. So hmm. actually, um, before the season ends in South Africa. So I was playing knowing that like uh, there's uh, uh, there's uh, uh, an offer that is from Sheriff. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, so things didn't go the way it was It was uh, being negotiated. Both teams didn't come to the final agreement. Then, yeah, um, you know, by the way things happen in football, uh, obviously, it was that window, like window period. Many teams are busy looking for players. Mm. So it came through uh, through uh, some agency because of uh, um, they were looking for a defender. It was critical. They were looking for a defender mm. in that position. So because of agency and everything, then I got I got um, that opportunity like that. Mm. Okay. The so... same people they were monitoring me to to come to share it with the same people. No uh, other teams. You know, ah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so yeah, obviously yeah. they were trying to facilitate the move to Moldova <laughs> and then all of a sudden yeah. FCFB said we're looking for a centre back and then yes okay. yes it okay. came like that so then like then they didn't uh, have much time to monitor me uh, to check my uh, how can I say it uh, to check my games but like yeah. obviously they they, they, they they saw something you know my obvious like uh, I'll, I'll say they recommend like uh, they recommended me the agents. The, it was the best agency. They recommended me that I'm a good player and stuff. They send them their my clips how I play and stuff. Then, luckily things uh went uh like they were successful. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they the team from uh, at CSB they consulted chips in terms of my service. Yeah, then everything started from there. It obviously helped a lot because Chiefs is like a, a big team and they knew, okay, the standard of the player, which is you, was was obviously going to be at a, a good level. Because like you said, they didn't have time to to scout you or anything. It was just based on that. Okay, so look, I mean, we what we see on the internet and what we read is not always the truth and things like that. So obviously, it's for, important for me to ask you this question like we saw that in your debut you 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 slipped and you fell and people were like questioning you people were making fun in South Africa and stuff but like you always do whenever you criticize you just come back stronger but I mean the owner of the club even went to the media and he said you know Sia Bonga is um is not physically ready yet because um you, you're struggling with training maybe it was the the, the new environment also like your fitness wasn't at that level as the others. Did it bother you much? Um, or were you still very confident? Like, no, like I'm I'm gonna make it here. 
Oh, to be um, to be quite honest, uh, I don't take everything uh what is being said in in social media for my mental health. I know as a professional, mm. you've been trained like, luckily in case achieves you've been trained about media. Mm. Uh, you know, so obviously people have opinions. Uh, how they see things, you know, obviously in the internet, more especially in like in this generation, like everything like is being published in. On the internet, you know, but like you can't take everything, doesn't mean that like, everything is true on the internet, yeah. So, um, in terms of uh, my first baby, yeah, I had a, I had a, some struggle, you know, I had some struggle because if you remember, taking you back, um, I was supposed to start the preseason with uh, with the team, yeah, I came late because of my documents, they were late, uh, so everything was late for me to. to to join the team and I found them on their preseason playing games, you know. So imagine like coming in the game, bro. Like you, 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 you. It was only for a few days. I think I just trained with them for just a week. Mm. I don't know the players. I don't know the coach. Like I don't know the some of the te- technical team. You understand? It was very really difficult for me. I don't know the language. Mm. So to adapt, obviously, it was gonna be you know hard. You, know, you were nervous. Being, eh? I was not nervous. I was not nervous because of the team that I come from. I know mm. the pressure of playing, you know, for big teams. So I was mm. in the right team because of the big team, you know. Mm. And I didn't want to, you know, play for any team. Uh, yeah. From except uh, if it is not good, like uh, you know, big because I'm used to your pressure, you know. Yeah. Like Chiefs. So yeah, obviously the beginnings are, are always gonna be hard. For me, I struggle with the language. Um, I didn't know some of the players, their strength and everything. I, they just, you know, I just try and, and do my, what I, what I know. Yeah. You know, mm. what I know. And also, uh, I found them, they were fit. Me, I was struggling. I tried to train, but it was not enough, I think, you know. Okay. So, I had some struggle. Then I played the, uh, the first game that I played with them. I played the, it was the game that we we, we draw uh one one uh I played in the second half, so it was not easy for me like their names to to to, to know their names and to know people like I'm working with you know in the environment. Also, the the language was very difficult for me because I didn't know anything about Romania. But yeah. luckily, some of the players they know English, so it was not that hard in terms of communication. But you know, there's a football language. I don't know if you know if it's football. Yes, language. yes, yes. Uh, you know, um, for an example, for like, let me take you like what's happening inside the field in terms of football language, like uh, men on away. You know, those things are yeah. very important. So, so know, it's right? like it's like when you're sitting in the cafeteria at the club, it might be difficult, but when you step onto that pitch, that things become easier. Yeah. Like I'm saying, it was hard for me. It was hard for me in terms of the language, the football yeah. language, because of uh, they speak their own language, you know. Yeah, they yeah. Speak sure. their own language. For an example, communication with me with the goalkeeper. There was some accident <laughs> in the first game that that yeah. I played. He said like goalkeeper, you know. I didn't understand what is he saying. Goalkeeper. Mm. He said, uh, yeah. He said, uh, like yeah. Yeah. He said like. My ball, goalkeeper. Yeah. I didn't understand. I cleared the ball, you understand? So it was difficult for me. <laughs> also, okay, we played that game. Um, There was a there was a ball came to me. Mm. Then obviously I slipped. Uh, then I slipped. Then they take the ball and, and score. Yeah. Obviously, you want to impress. It's the first game and everything. But, you know, I just told myself, like, it's okay. Like, you know, obviously. The beginning is gonna be hard in terms of I didn't I didn't start the preseason with them. Yeah. In terms of fitness level, I I didn't like look fit. Yeah. But I tried my best. But I think like it was not enough because you know it was not enough. And another that thing that I was coming already, eh? Yeah, and then <laughs> another thing, another thing I was not used to the pitch. Okay. You know the pitch is like it's soft. Mm. When you play there every game, like it's 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 wet. It's like the 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 the, the field are wet. So yeah. I'm I'm used to dry 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 uh dry pitch. You know, in South Africa we play during the day and it's dry and stuff. You know, three o'clock you coffee, the sun. Three and the sun is here. Thirty two thirty two degrees. You yeah. know, everything is dry. So 
I was used to that pitch. So it was not easy for me, you know. So I had to adapt in terms of conditions, weather conditions. And imagine, bro, like, as I'm telling you, I changed that that boot I was playing with because of it was giving me uh, problems even in training, like I was sleeping. You know? Oh, okay. So I had, I had to change from 13s. But you see the pins? Six stud. Yeah, six stud. I had to change the, like, 13 to 15. Mm. Yeah, I played with 15, the whole bit. So the group is now people. there. Just to grip, yeah, because, like, you know, it's slippery and also the pitch is wet and it's soft. Mm. So I need, I needed to, I needed to, I didn't know about those things, you know, nobody could, like, could tell mm. me, you know, until you get there inside, you know. So yeah. in terms of um, my first game, I was not happy with my first game, but I just told myself it's just the preseason. Of this, we, I'm there to 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 adapt, to train, to 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 know to know some other things that I don't know, you know. Yeah, then I was not hard on myself, but hence to say, like obviously in South Africa, uh, the most people like I heard some noise, obviously, uh, the move, uh, the the first game, there was so like a lot of noise outside, but because of hence I tell you, like I'm not into social media that much so i didn't pay attention because i know my quality also yeah. i know you know everyone also i know that everyone have opinion with your life because if you're a public figure obviously you know not everyone will be happy about you and yeah. also criti- criticism it's not like saying i'm a bad player you know it's your opinion, maybe you saw it in different ways. Maybe you criticize me and stuff, saying maybe other things. But for me, I know my, my qualities. I know my qualities. Yeah. So it didn't affect me that much. It didn't affect me that much because I know like uh, the expectations, they are very high. The demands are very high. I'm playing for a big team and stuff. Yeah. But I mean, um, um, just before I go to my, my next question, um, do you actually know that your, your coach... Nah, he's born in South Africa. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. And, Actually, and I, I was amazed. I was amazed. He's the first guy, like you know, try to 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 make me to feel at home, you know, mm. uh, because of he he told me he shared some story about South Africa. Mm. I don't know. His father is a is from from Eastern Cape, Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you yeah, speak something like that? Like, Huh? Can you speak Afrikaans? No, he, he like it's only English, but also Kosa. He, he, really? he, he will talk to me with Kosa. Then I understand what is he saying with Kosa. So he was <laughs> the only guy I understand much better because of his from South Africa. You know, he was speaking Kosa with me. Then he, he made he made me feel com- like um comfortable. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. So, so so going to the next question, um. Vlad Kiriches, um, I don't know if you knew him before you went there, but he's a huge player. He played for Napoli, Tottenham. I think he's got like over 90 caps for Romania as the captain. So he's obviously playing ahead of you. I mean, it's obvious. It's like uh, like if, uh, you know, like uh, Lucas Radebe is ahead of you. He's a legend. Like, yeah, yes, 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 yes. So, yes, so, yes. I, so, so I was one of the few people we went to go look at the lineups and I was like, hey man, this is Kiriches. I can understand why C is not playing. He gets injured. Um, and that's also that game that you spoke about where you made your debut in the second half. Um, but obviously he gets injured and that's when you come into the team. But he's such a massive legend. Like, has he helped you settle in? And what advice has he given you? Like, uh, what, what do you learn from such a legend of, of, of Romanian football? Um, I would say, like, uh, obviously, um, I was waiting for, for my chance also. And uh, obviously, we also bought Kiri Ketch. It was very, like, a uh, tight competition now, you know? Yeah. A legend of this uh, this team also, also for a legend of uh, in Romania for the national team. Yeah. So it was hard for me, you know, but, like, you know, challenges like we, we are where we are because of challenges you know mm. so i just you know um it was a healthy competition because of the he, he will sometimes I, I will ask him questions and the experience because of his played in Tottenham, he played 
in Serie A, you know, big teams. So in Napoli, mm. he played with Balu. I'll ask him, like, you know, some experiences uh, of his uh, playing in, in, in Europe, like top leagues. Mm. Then, yeah, we'll talk in normal and see, like, we'll talk normally, he'll advise me, you know. Yeah, then, and he's, he can also uh, talk English, so that's good yeah. to talk to him. And he also, so he's a, he's a leader to us, like, he's a leader to us, not only, only to the, like, even in the team, in the dressing room, he's a leader. We'll go to after time, you, like, there's something to say, like, he's the, he motivator, so he's a leader, actually. Hmm. So, what what is the standard of 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 the Romanian Superliga compared to what you've experienced in the PSL? Like, is it is it easier because you are now like um at the best best team in the league? Like, you like basically at the sundowns of of the Superliga. So, the standard between PSL and Superliga, and yeah, have you found it easy to play for them? Uh, funny story, like. <laughs> What you're saying, uh, in terms of the standard and compare with PSL, the difference is not is not that much. But like I was saying, you know, in Europe, they are more focusing on technique, you know, you mm. know, uh, and also they are very detailed. They are very detailed. Every pass, every like, like they are very detailed in terms of analyzing, uh, in terms of training sessions. They are very detailed, you know. So, I would say they are. In, in, in South Africa, that's what I'm saying. Like it, the difference is not that much, but here, like they are very technical. Mm. So you the, that what I've seen, they are very technical. Like for me as a defender, a small chance if you can give an uh, if, uh forward player uh-huh. a, a small chance, they can um they can punish you. You know they are very detailed. In South Africa, I know sometimes like I will cover. You know you know because of sometimes the technique and stuff. You might let you let the player down and start. Like, mm. yeah, you don't recover because of how they go. They are very technical. Mm. So, um, but have you found it easier because you're at the, at, at the team that's, you know, expected to, you know, the team that's the best team in, in Romania? It was not easy. Like, uh, it was not easy, but because of also uh, my qualities, I know my qualities. I have to, to, to show them uh, my qualities also. To adapt, it was a bit hard. Their training sessions because they are more technical. You know, uh, we spend more my, most of the time like with football, like playing football. We spend mm-hmm. most of the time playing football in our training session. It was not quite hard, but it was challenging. I say it was challenging. Did you find? Because uh, going back now, um, like reflecting on on your chief days, obviously. Um, did you find it uh tough to become a regular like, you know, one of the first names on the team sheets because Chiefs weren't like doing that well, because you know as a young player when you're thrown in that type of environment it's very high pressure, and there was like always a lot of changes like, you know, in the years that you were in Chiefs' first team there would always be eight players in eight players out. You 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 get what I'm saying. So did you find that like very challenging as a young? Emerging talent into Chiefs. Um, in Chiefs, you know. Okay, let me put it like this: I didn't find it. Oh yes, Chief, to play for Chiefs, it is a uh, it's a pressure itself to play for Chiefs. The thing that made me to maybe to understand not to be, uh, more pressure to pressure myself. I understand the culture and I understand the needs, you know, of the team, you know, uh, because, you know, everyone knows Chiefs is a, 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 a team of trophies, the history, they, they are very rich in history. Obviously, like, me playing from development, it helped me a lot. Mm. It helped me a lot because I know the expectations, you know. I know the responsibility to play for a big team. And it was also a dream come true, you know, playing for... Case achieves from development to case achieves. It mm. was for me, it was an achievement. Mm. In terms of my career, it was challenging because of we we were worked with different coaches, different uh style of play. So mm. it was a bit challenging. But for me, I tried my best. I think it was not good enough. You know, I tried my best, it was not good enough. 
Yeah, I think because we did, I, I haven't been a trophy, which is, which is, it leaves me with a hole, you know, because I wanted to, 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 to bring, like, to put my, 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 my presence to, to, to bring something for Chiefs because they have done a lot for me as a player, as the time I was young, you know, from development, if you are, um, they done a lot. If it, if it wasn't about Chiefs, I wouldn't have been where I am today, you know, in, in Europe, like everyone talking about Gezana, if it wasn't about Chiefs, everyone will never know Gezana right here, you know. So I'm grateful, I'm grateful for the opportunity they gave me. And also, yeah, to you, I am. I mean, look, I mean, yes, you were criticized a lot, but a lot of people saw, like, see ya, you were tall, you were super quick, um, you're powerful, you had all the characteristics as, as, as somebody who could become an elite center back. Um, so it must be like a huge confidence boost in knowing that you, you've you gone to Europe now and you're doing well at a big team. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, for me, Chiefs, to, to play for Chiefs, actually it helped me. I would say that it helped me in terms of my, my, my mental strength, the pressure, playing for a big team, you know, the expectation every game, it, you, you need to give you 100, 110%, you know. So it helped me to play for KZG. For me, I take it as a strong foundation because I know, I know, I've seen it all, you know, in KZG, chasing coaches, bringing new players, uh, high-profile players that I need to compete with, you know. I stayed there for seven years, seven years until they bought me to the RM. So for me, that's what I'm saying. I've seen it all. I know the pressure because of Chiefs. If it wasn't about Chiefs, maybe um, I could have give up like along the along the, the way, you know, I could have give up on myself. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like Chiefs, Chiefs, I've seen it all and I'm grateful for it. Because if I was playing for a small, like, not despising other teams, but if I was playing for 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 for, for small teams, uh, I mean nobody would care, you know. Nobody would care. I will I will, I will never put my hundred and ten percent in on the field. Nobody's watching. Nobody cares. But like now to play for a big team, it comes with high responsibility. Yeah. Um. And uh, you know, they say normally uh, no pressure, no power. So that pressure, it makes who we are today. It makes us. We are living it. Uh, a luxury life because of that pressure, you know. So sometimes, yes, pressure is not nice. Nobody likes the pressure. Nobody likes, you know. But it comes with um good reward, you know. Good reward, yeah. So it <laughs> helps me yeah. a lot. To, See, I think, think to about this. Also. Think about this also. When you're playing for a small team, you know, and you make mistakes, you can still get into Bafana Bafana. Yes. One mistake. At Chief Sundowns or Pirates, it, you in the, every front, you on the front page newspaper, you on every big website on Monday morning. You have uh, legends talking about you. You have a thirty minute segment on Soccer Zone. You, it, it, it's the end of the world. You know what I mean? Yes. yes so, yes, so, yes. so it, I, I get where you say, but look, yes. the, moving on, moving on, moving on. There's also talk of you now, even going beyond FCSB. Um, that like over the past few weeks, there's been some speculation of Lorient in um in Ligue 1 in France. Um, do you know anything about it? And your president um even already said like, if if the money is good, um, yeah, I will let Sia go. Um, but yeah, do you know anything about it? And uh, has have they spoken to you? Um, and at FCSB even. Um, to be quite honest, um, uh, it's just the speculations from the media. Mm. Um, nobody exactly spoke to me with the move, but obviously the website, the 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 the, the president of the team, is, you know, it means there's something. Obviously, yeah. there's no smoke without fire. You know, yeah. you know. So there's something. There's something. But I don't know. I don't. I don't want to try to dwell on it. I just wanted to finish the uh the games uh, and go to Christmas, you know, 
I just want to finish on the high. So that's why I'm 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 focusing on yeah the 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 about the 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 move the links. No, it's not until there's something um uh, solid that I say. But like for now, I have nothing to to say to comment about it. Okay. Yes. So um also you you've made the um obviously I sent you the the squad. I'm not sure if you saw it before me, but or if they phoned you. Um, did they? Did they phone you? Yeah, I I got some missed calls. I got some missed calls. You know, I got some missed calls. But like okay, like. I saw what it was it for, and then you send me the the squad the list. Then you, that's where and like that's where uh, I recall this because of the the the, the squad. Um, squad, yeah. But did you expect there, that? Um, and how does this make you feel? Because January, <laughs> January twenty twenty three, you were going through the you were going through the most. December twenty twenty three, you you were thus close to. Being on the airplane to go to Afcon, how does that make you feel? And did you expect it? To be quite honest, um, how how would I put it? Obviously, everyone it, it, it's everyone's child, you know. Uh, everyone's child to to play to play to present your country, you know. Mm. It's everyone's child, but like um, I can't say I didn't expect or I expected. Because I want, I want also to play big tournament like mm-hmm. Afcon. Afcon is a big tournament, you know. Also mm-hmm. presenting a thing, something, you know. Yeah, because I mean, uh, I, the way that I put it, I think it speaks itself. Uh, you know, whether I'm in the squad, whether I'm not in the squad, but I'm grateful enough to 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 see my name, you know, for for recognition, you know, to see my name in that uh fifty men squad. So I'm grateful. It, it 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 shows good signs that there's something that uh small that I'm doing positive, you know, or where I am right now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um yeah. so do you think that like other South African players like should be in Europe because there are different types of pressures that we even if we talked about, there are different type of pressures, there's less focus, like for example, what what I said of if Sia makes a mistake, it's on every newspaper, whatever. So do you think, let's, I, I hate to use this example, but let's say Machini or um, Ethan Brooks, anyone, do you think this, this more type of player should go into that environment? Because look how you are thriving. I think South Africans, they are so talented. And um, what can I say to them? They have to 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 to, to be the side, more especially for for our national team, to to in in football to improve, you know, to improve uh, our football because of like the rugby team is doing well, you know, and stuff. Also, it's a pleasure for us as like in, in football, you know. So I think if we will bring more of our players in Europe, if you can check Ghana, uh, Nigeria. They are top, uh, top, top teams in Africa because of why they have a lot of players. They are playing in in Europe. Maybe ninety percent of their squad they are playing in Europe. So that's why it makes it makes them more strong team, you know, because of the experience. Like the experience in overseas is different. Mm. And also coming back to South Africa, because I played there in PSL and stuff. We are very talented. Make no mistake, we are very talented. But I feel like. If we can come out from our comfort zone, you know, comfort zone, because it's nice. Also, me to play for Chiefs, comfort zone it was nice. Everything is here and stuff. But you see, like outside, you, you start having a different view. You understand? Like now, it feels like I'm starting my career from 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 scratch. How I feel right now, you know, the the things that I, I'm experiencing this side is very different. Yeah, the mentality, the mentality, it's very different. The players, they, it's very different. The training, it's very different. Yeah, and I mean, uh, yes. I don't know if you if you're willing to share that um on the record, but something that we said, honestly, like you just said it in passing before we started, um, but I found it very like, like wow, like you've you've grown so much, like when you said that you're staying at the club, like 
would you you would you want to share why you you staying at the village of of FCSB? Yeah, I, like yeah, hence like I'm saying, um, it's fine. Like okay, you can share because of it can help someone in terms of um, like how can I say? For an example, you know the lifestyle in 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 in, in South Africa is different. Right. Yeah. Like okay. Let, let 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 let's let let's start at this. Yes. I'm not throwing shade at anyone. But when somebody comes from another team and they join Chiefs, yeah, I see, I see what they do. I see where they live. I see what they drive. I see what they wear, and that's kind of why I was trying to to go into this of why you are staying at the village of FCSB like you are an academy player when you are a top earner you can you can go live wherever you want I can afford yes I can afford the car I can afford yeah. today stay in the big uh, hotels and stuff yeah. okay listen listen uh, that's why I'm saying I'll, I'll take you back hmm. for me to play for Chiefs it was a strong foundation it taught me a lot of things now I'm going back to basics now I I, I know my life playing for Chiefs how it was in terms of I know like to be honest I was not 100% 100% in terms of the comfort zone comfort zone you know life is different I, my family is here my friends are here uh, whenever if I had a bad game I'll go and see my family it's good for mental strength but I don't understand I don't know if you understand there was no sacrifices where like okay see ya go to gym do an extra here, yeah, like it's more like everything is here. The gym is here. Uh, that's why I took one of the sacrifices to stay in 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 in, in the facilities of uh, of of the club. You mm. know, because also, I'm like there are very like there are, there are a lot of advantages. I'm not spending outside. The money that I will have put it in in hotel, it is on me. So. <laughs> I'm saving, I'm focused, like everything is here. If whenever maybe I did not do enough in training, I'll go and do extra on the field or in the gym. And you're eating healthy. I'm eating healthy. I'm not even buying food, you know. There's, so for me, I know there's someone like, there's a quote that I, I there's some interview that uh, that um, I, I watched. So that guy was advising his his son, like, that you have small career like this and you have bigger things to leave like this. So why don't you focus only for, make sacrifices only for, for short, then live a better life after, you know? Mm. So I took that like, you know, it's something that will help my career, like to make all those sacrifices, no family, no girlfriend, no friends. Like it's me, it's, it's God, me, football. Mm. Who is that? Who who is the Sia and and what have you done with the old Sia? Oh, the old Sia, the old <laughs> Sia, like oh, <laughs> that's why, like I'm saying, like a lot has changed, you know, like the mentality is different this side, you know. So I needed to grab this opportunity because opportunity like this they don't come, you know, every time. Hmm. We have good players, but they never been in overseas. Best best players, like people like. Uh, more more beyond, beyond my talent, you understand? Yeah, yeah. So I needed to grab this opportunity. And now, you know, I see the rewards now. Like, I see the rewards. Now I'm able to be called in national team. Now I'm in the consistent in the first lineup. Like, you understand? Because mm. of the sacrifices. But people, they don't see that picture, you know? They don't see. So that's why I'm saying, like, you can share to anyone. But now I'm for more focused. There's no uh destruction outside. Like it's me, it's God, me, football. That's all. So this is my last question. I promise you. How does it make you feel that so many South Africans are now like literally supporting and loving you so much that how much you've grown abroad in this small space of of half a season? Yeah, it's it, it's quite impressive. But like you know. Uh, I don't, that's what I was saying to you. I don't pay much in the, in the social media because you know why? Because everyone has opinion about your life. You're a public figure. For an example, someone will say, today, 
we had a good game, very fantastic game. They call they call you Sergio Ramos. <laughs> and tomorrow you you become like maybe we have a bad game. They will call you a worse player. You know they will call you a worse player. So so what can I say to them? Like uh, I don't really take uh I don't really take what people say. I know myself better. I know mm-hmm. I can improve. You know so. Uh, but it's good when you you receive positive uh support, positive mm. words, you know, from people that that knows you and stuff. But I really don't take what people say because I know myself better, you know. I know myself better. But it's good uh, the support that I get from South Africa. The same people that criticize you. <laughs> Funny part is the same people. Yeah. Tomorrow they will praise you. Do you know that? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Exactly. It means like also. I, there's someone told me something that if you 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 people are quiet, it means like you're not doing I, anything. I know what you mean. People, yeah, yeah. People must say something about you. Then it it, it shows that like, uh, you're doing something. Whether it's good or bad, it shows that you're doing something. You know, and yeah. you can't take everyone as your opinion. Everyone has an opinion. You know, so yeah. I said you're Ramos. I'm, 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 yo, this was an amazing interview. <laughs> Honestly, thank you, thank you. But so much insight. Like, I, I have to say, I'm actually proud of, 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 of all the things that you, you've spoken. Like, you've become, you've become an ambassador, and I'm sure many people are gonna agree, and, and, and say the same. Uh, Mr. Philosophy is, is just on another yeah. level now. And now yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, proud, I'm proud because I mean, dude, like. It was just a couple of months ago. We were standing there at Naturena. And I don't know if you were nervous that day or what. And you couldn't even get like 10, 11, 12 words out. And now you're speaking so ill. I don't know what books you're reading or what is happening there. But keep doing it. Yeah. Um, that's great to hear. Thank you so much. Man. Thank you so much. You, my brother. We, we, so we'll, much. We'll, we'll keep in touch. And I hope you get into the, the AFCON squad so we can see each other soon. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you, Sia.